Hi folks, just a little update video this one. I'm not well again, as you probably know. I've got another virus, it's one of these flu viruses that's uh, going about at the moment. Sharon's got it as well. She's had it a few days before me, so she's a couple of days ahead of me, and it really knocks you flat on your back, basically. So uh, she did go to the doctors. The doctors told her that nothing they can do for it. It lasts three to four weeks, and it's just got to run its course. So unfortunately, there you go. What a start to the new year. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the, uh, I don't know, where's that gone? I had a couple of old cars up there, they've disappeared. Anyway, so I had that little mini traveller, I don't know whether you saw for restoration, but I was actually, it had a back door missing on it. I don't know if you can see inside there. There's a little cast mini traveller back door, which I was able to source on eBay. And uh, I'm well pleased with that. I've just got a good selection now of these Tamiya uh, acrylic paints. These are acrylic but solvent ones as well, so you have to thin these down. And as you can see, I've got a good variation of uh, colours in there. These are pretty good actually. They're under they're about about two pound a pot, I think they are one pound fifty to two pound a pot. And uh, it just allows you to keep a good selection of colours uh, for whatever may come up. So I've got quite a good selection now. Me Retro Hacks channel, those of you who are probably subscribers to me Retro Hacks channel, it's coming up now to as many subscribers as me Retro Restore channel. So I'm real pleased with that and thanks very much for going over there and also subscribing. I know quite, oh, just looking out there, the wind. Very windy today. I know quite a few of you out there have um, subscribed to that channel as well. I've just got hold of this old petrol can, I'll show you this, wait there. Right, well I've just picked this up. And it's in a right state there, as you can probably see. It's probably got perforations, holes on the bottom of it. I don't know yet. But it's got some old writing. It's got petroleum spirit ready can. Is it Bell? And I can't actually see the writing there. But uh, as I say, there's a lot of rust on this. I don't know if you can see the condition of it there. And it's got this sort of brass head spout there. So that should polish up really, really nicely, I'm hoping. So... I would presume this is maybe 50s or 60s, definitely no later. I think this would be pre-1970s, to be honest with you. So it is quite an old piece, and I'm going to be doing it in the original red colour, and I'll also lacquer it in a 2K lacquer. But I'll uh, highlight all the writing, I think, with black or maybe white. Yet yeah, I'm not too sure uh, what to highlight the writing with. So that's one of the restorations coming up. But as I say, up until today or yesterday, I'm basically just getting up on my feet now, so we we were literally knocked out. I've just done a bit of work around Tracy's house today, trying to do some painting, and uh, I was very very wobbly on the on the ladder there. So uh, I've I've packed up early, so to speak. But I want to get going, as you know, on the restorations again. I've just taken the Reliant Regal cylinder head now uh, down to a machine shop to have that skimmed. I've done that today. I think that costs thirty six pounds plus fat, so that's pretty cheap. Should be getting that back tomorrow. And when I get that back, that means that I can reassemble the cylinder head then and actually finish and get the engine back together. Because what we're going to be looking to do now is to obviously get the engine back in the chassis, run the engine up while the body's off, just to make sure that everything's okay with it sort of thing. So I'll be doing that in the, in the hopefully in the near future. But until then, obviously, I'm trying to build up my playlist for my little uh, restoration cards and stuff like that. So do stay and perhaps look at the playlist for them as well hope you do enjoy them and uh, yeah so just a little update with this I'm going to be hopefully when the weather gets a bit better as well start picking up, I want to get that transit van done now, I've made a decision now, I'm going to be selling the transit van anyway uh, I'm just going to do the work on it and then out it for the simple reason being now is that I'm uh, in the process, I've just bought another car so I've got too many vehicles out in the drive to be honest with you, so I'll be probably selling the Triumph Acclaim and also the the try for claim there's really not much more to do on it to be honest with you i've got to do all the brakes on it there's a steering gator to do on the front the doors have got to be bolted back on correctly and gapped up and all that and the interior trim panels that i took off like the door cards and stuff like that have all got to go back on uh, all the lights have got to be put back in and also the paintwork which has got loads of rubbish on it as, as, you, as you know as you've probably seen it's uh now these all cutting back 
don't forget it's had three coats of lacquer on it so it can take a good cut back anyway and it should come up looking like new again so i've got to paint the um the uh the, the trunk lid i've got a spare trunk lid as you remember so i'll be doing that but uh if anyone wants to make me an offer for it to take it off my hands as it is by all means send me a message I'm, I'm i'm open to offers and also the transit fan as well i've got to move forward now i've got to start making room as i say we've had to make some big changes this year as you know we've stopped doing the t-shirts now and stuff like that so um We've had to make some big changes and moving forward in, in the direction which we want to go in. And uh, for me, as I say, it's me Retro Hacks channel, me Retro Restore channel, but uh, obviously tidying up some loose ends and stuff like that. So anyway, that's another story. It's got to get better at the moment. And uh, hopefully when the better weather comes as well, I'll start to feel a bit better as well. I want to still do all my little projects and stuff like that, but, um, you know, keep, keep tuned. I will be... I know I've not been pumping out a lot recently, but as I say... From November last year to where we are now, as you know, I've not been very well, and um, it's just one of those things. I don't. I'm normally a, sort of a well person all the time, and uh, it's just now and again something knocks you back, and you get knocked back a bit more. And before you know it, you know you, you've had a two or three months of uh, not having a, a, a nice time, sort of thing, so to speak. So, anyway, I'm starting to ramble. I'm going to go now. And I'll see you in the next video very shortly. It might be a little restoration video. It might be me putting back to the uh, tro uh, Reliant Regal cylinder head. I'm not too sure yet. But uh, keep watching. And don't forget, check out my Retro Hacks channel as well. And if you haven't subscribed to that one, do pop over there and give us a subscription. I'm nearly overtaking Retro Restore now. Anyway, thanks very much. See you in the next video. And until then, bye for now.